Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting week of Rocket League with your CIU Rams. I am Jonathan Shorter. Alongside me is my co-host, Grayson Holiday, And we just want to thank you for coming out tonight to support your Rams. Speaking of supporting your Rams, why don't I let you know a little something, a little secret. There are several ways to support your Rams, but the easiest way right now, if you're watching on Twitch, hit that follow button. You know, maybe even sub to the channel. That would really help. Um, but also, if you want to check out their Instagram and YouTube, it's CIU Rams Esports. And then on TikTok, it's CIU Esports. So go ahead and follow them on all of those things to keep in contact, keep in touch with all that's going on. Maybe see some awesome clips, you know? And uh, that'll do a lot. Just raise support uh, for your team. Yeah, another way to support the Ram Fam is to get merch. I'm wearing the navy blue hoodie. It is nice and comfy ahead of this cold weather that we're about to have. Uh, you can get it at the merch store or online at ciurams.com slash sports. And then go to CIU Athletics Team Store. Go to eSports. Put whatever you want in your cart. It's in your mail in a few days. And you're looking fine. Also, just in case you're out there and you're thinking, this is pretty cool. How can I do this? Well, you're in luck because they are always recruiting. Coach Chris has let us know that spots are available. So if you're interested, do that. You can be a student or a graduate student uh, at CIU and still compete. But you must live locally. Um, even if you're not living on campus, you must live locally and scholarships are available. So you could get paid to play video games. That's always a good thing to hear. It is. So Glitch, um, who are they going up against tonight? They're going up against North Dakota State University. Yes, the North Dakota State University. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to tell our audience a little something. So uh, I'm sitting here with a a guy who's ran track at a pretty high level, who's coached track at a state championship level. And that is right. He has a state championship ring. I played soccer at a pretty high level and coached at a pretty high level. I say all this because you and I know when a team is playing at a high level and CIU are playing at that level right t tonight. And it is looking so, so good. Shorter, you, I know you were in the chat last game last week but they are looking so good i'm I was happy that you were in the chat last game they won the three to one series uh over lawrence tech Genji's comments after that game was that they were focused on uh getting uh keeping the energy up the entire series and man did they it felt good to see this team click on all cylinders uh from the get-go and they got the job done last week yeah i was really enjoying watching that uh you did a great job by the way um i mean Appreciate you don't it. really need me here and these guys <laughs> don't need any more assistance with things because they're just killing it right now it's great to see their rotations their play style and everything else and so yeah the three that are playing this week are your familiars that you know and love uh, we have Jinji 44 casey and gamehawk in this lineup uh, and like you said, going up against North Dakota State University. Yeah, so this game, what I'm going to challenge these guys to do is force, first and foremost, like Jinji said, keep the energy up all series. They dropped the game against Lawrence Tech last series, and it really showed. Uh, it was game three, I think. It ended up being a two to one, and they took the series three to one. But they need to focus on playing together throughout the entire series. And I have been impressed by their discipline as a team. From last season to this season, it is night and day when it comes to their, their discipline. And ready to see it all unfold on the pitch tonight. Absolutely. And also, we just want to point out that, you know, these guys are great and they're killing it. But so is uh, all the other, so are all the other programs for CIU because this is not just the only esports team at CIU. You can watch and support their uh, Smash Brothers teams and their Overwatch team in the same ways that you 
watch and support their Rocket League team. So make sure you check that out, check for their schedules, and go support them as well. Yeah, absolutely. And talking about support, we are a few moments away from kickoff, and it looks like everyone's loading up in the lobby. I'm really excited to see uh, see us go up against North Dakota State tonight. North Dakota State as a team still looking for their first win. Doesn't mean they're not competitive. I've seen a few of their scores. They've missed out on a few games by just uh, a one game difference. So they are a competitive team and they cannot be taken lightly. That's right. You know the saying in the NFL, any given Sunday? Oh yeah, any given well, Monday. Yeah, in, in, in NACE, it's any given Monday. Absolutely, and you know it. It's it's one thing because these guys, you know, Genji, uh, Genji, Gamehawk, Casey, they have jobs that they're they're focused on during the week. They have classes. They have all of these things that they're worried about throughout the entire week, and they're still preparing. And I know that they're looking forward to game day every single week. So I'm I'm excited to see them. Uh, perform tonight i know everyone else is too right now we're just waiting on them to load up in the lobby and we'll, we'll get it underway absolutely so just in case there's some first time viewers out there and you're wondering what is rocket league basically it's a game of soccer with cars you know team with the most points at the end of five minutes wins and it's your job to try to get a goal and to keep goals from happening and you know there's boost around the field where you pick that up which allows your car to go faster and there's only a certain amount you can get at a time and if you run out that's too bad but it does give you a competitive advantage um, going faster going in the air and pulling off some neat tricks hopefully tonight we'll see casey gamehawk and Genji uh, maybe hit some nice shots for you just for yeah. you Absolutely. I mean, if we're talking about these players one by one while we're waiting for them to load up, Casey, you know, he's the mechanical go-to guy on this team. He's he's the one that's going to be using his mechanics to to open up space and chances for his teammates. You know, he used to be our go-to goal scorer, but Genji and and Gamehawk have really blossomed into guys that are putting the ball in the back of the net consistently. So it's it's three guys who can score at any point during a game. And when you're watching Rocket League, that's what you want to see is three guys that can score at will. So I'm, I'm expecting that to happen tonight against a, a good North Dakota State team. Um, but again, the challenge for them is to keep their energy up throughout the entire season uh, series. Absolutely. Yeah, we want to see high aggression and quick rotations and not get too settled in uh, complacency as they go against this team. Folks, we are just waiting for all the team members to enter into the lobby so the game can start. Um, right now, it seems to be they're trying to get NDSU to ready up or get into the lobby. Yeah. And then once so, that happens, we'll kick off. That's what I'm looking at right now. And uh, uh, while we wait, let's everybody who's in in the stream get 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 the hype going in chat. And uh, as we wait for uh, as we wait for NDSU to respond to our messages and get in the lobby, we will let you guys know. But stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Yep, I just started some hype in the chat for you guys. So glitch while we're at it. Um... Tell me a little bit about play style that I think we've seen in this season. Have you seen the change from the first game to where we're at right now? You, you're talking a lot mm -hmm. about last week and how well they did. What's the difference? Yeah, so we're you're going to notice a lot. If we're going to get down into the nitty gritty of it, uh, a lot of the time CIU is going to be going from a two-man back to a one-man back and so that means that during a rotation um gonna gonna use some high level here but during a rotation they're gonna they're gonna plant two guys back on a defensive situation we have not seen ciu do that a lot they are an aggressive team so they're having game kind of sit at that third man waiting 
for a rebound to put the ball back into a dangerous situation. We saw last season, and even in the in game one when they dropped in, dropped the the game and had their first loss on the season, the only loss, they were playing more conservative. They had two guys in the back at all times, kind of just waiting for things to come to them instead of taking the game to their opponent. And that's been the difference. I mean, that one little change, and they're scoring goals at will. They've only dropped two games since they've made that change, and two games in a series. They haven't lost a series yet. So that change has been the difference for me um, and everyone at home. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell that these guys are having fun when they're when they're scoring goals. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's nice when you see them sort of relax and try to start taking new yeah. shots um, and mix things up a little bit. And I think it really shows, you know, the game style when they change that a little bit and they get comfortable with each other. But we're still waiting for them to ready up and we will keep you posted once that happens. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back and we'll get into this game hopefully. baby all it's right game time. five minutes on the clock it is time to go as the kickoff starts ball going in ciu's favor right now jinji taking possession in their corner to push the ball upfield yes yeah, so right demo here in front of oh NDSU yeah this goal. is exactly what i was talking about right before we started kickoff look at that oh god nice there it is game off the game top hop. bar getting the Shinji goal gets a tap then game hawk coming in yeah, I was trying to break it down I was as it was happening. But Gingy in that scenario was the guy staying back. And Casey went hunting. That's what we're calling it. He went hunting, got a demo to spring a counterattack, and it ended up causing disruption in North Dakota State's rotation. Basically open net for Gamehawk, and it's one nothing. And the aggression has begun. Two demos in a row, and the ball's in a dangerous situation once again. Right now, things are getting a little chippy as I think NDSU is starting to respond a little bit and they're pushing forward or at least trying to. But now it's up to Casey to bring the ball up the right side of the field and shot on goal. No good, but Gamehawk's there for another and Genji for a third. It's still in front of goal and NDSU successfully clears for now while Casey resets and tries again. Yeah, good discipline there from Casey though. I, he had a chance to go for a shot low on boost but he said no nah, i'm gonna live uh live for another rotation and look what happens because of casey's discipline three steps behind or three steps ago three steps forward we're in the net there you go yeah so <laughs> finally <laughs> we see casey then game hawk then Gingy. again good rotations everybody's getting a touch and able to sink it in for a shot yeah two nothing uh you can definitely tell that North North Dakota State is not warmed up, and it's it is kind of kind of sad to see because they I'm pretty sure they joined this game super super late. They that's what we were waiting on. We were waiting on NDSU to get get ready, get sorted, and you can tell that they're kind of grasping at straws, as the saying goes. Well, right now Gamehawks going up with Casey, a little bit of a double, but they're able to get the ball towards goal into NDSU territory. And now it's up to Gamehawk on defense with Genji following up behind. Gamehawk on offense, forget defense. He's doing both. And now Genji coming in after Casey. He's waiting patiently. Oh, Gets a bump. touch into the corner. And they are definitely working together as Gamehawk comes back in. Yeah, so we've seen C early on CIU as a team, they're disciplined. That's what I was talking about in pregame. My challenge for them tonight was to keep the energy up. Things have kind of settled down. I, I'm 
challenging them right now if they could hear me to get the energy back up keep the ball in an aggressive situation and get some shots on goal well that was pretty aggressive as they got a shot on goal it just hit top bar and now they're working back on defense as Rooney and others push forward for NDSU but just like that CIU is back on the offensive side of the field with Casey getting a touch getting demoed but it doesn't deter them because Genji's right there getting the ball across the goal. And Casey, since he was demoed, he was there. He's ready to play defense now. Yep. So Casey's going to spring a counterattack here. Look for someone to might maybe get a demo if they're free or not. But just keep the ball in, a, in an aggressive situation. Right now, they're going to try and pass to each other, get, get out. And Genji's the free man. Genji hitting upfield from defense. And NDSU's cutting off at half field a good bit now. They Ooh. up their aggression and the ball's in front of CIU goal. They could not finish for it, but Rooney for NDSU misses now Snow T. And we are seeing CIU try to maintain possession or at least get possession while on defense. Shot from wide, Jinji gets broken up. But Gamehawk and Casey are there at midfield. Jinji wants another one though. No one there on defense to stop it at half field, but Casey moves it forward nonetheless. We're seeing touch by Casey, little wall pinch. Genji gets another to keep possession. Gamehawks there. Over the middle to Genji who misses, but that's all right because less than a minute left and the score is 2-0. Yeah, I'm, I was spent the last maybe minute just kind of trying to look at CIU's rotations right now there isn't really a set rotation they're just they're kind of playing free that's a good thing when you're up two nothing but it's a bad thing when the goals aren't happening and chances on net aren't happening so uh, they've hit a little bit of a stalemate can't can't uh that's a pretty much of a fact but there's a good shot on goal from Jinji barely wide so now we're seeing another shot. Oh, Jinji up with a little touch. No good, but 14 seconds left. It looks like CAU is going to take this one. Best they can do now is just prevent a goal to maintain that momentum going into the next game. And they might get one off. Time expires, and it looks like the ball is going to touch, which means game over. First game goes to CIU. Yeah, remember those watching at home, this is a best of five series. Essentially, first one, two, three games takes the series. So, you know, the game's not over. Stay in your seat. Stay at home. Uh, stay ready because there are at least two more games of Rocket League to be played tonight. Yes, two more fantastic games that we are looking forward to. Uh, we're just waiting for the full roster to ready up, and then we will be good to go. Yeah. Short, I'm going to say something a little a little iffy. All right, go for it. If I'm CIU coming out of this game, I'm not happy. Mm. Uh, they started the game super hot. I mean, two goals within two minutes. Yeah. That, that's their brand. That's the brand that they've set for this season. <laughs> they ended the final three minutes without a shot on without a real shot on goal. So something it's changed. Terrible. Uh, I mean, so, I saw some shots on goal. Well, none of them went in the back of the net. That's my point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so, CIU did have the win. They got the win in the first game, but they stopped playing their game. I think that's kind of the point I'm trying to prove. Is right. They stopped playing their aggressive game, and it kind of cost them in the, like the stat sheet. But, hey, a win's a win, I guess. But they got to bring up the aggression for sure. Well, right now, this aggression needs to come in on defense as they are trying to get the ball out, but NDSU has pushed forward a little harder. Now it's transitioning to offense, but back to D immediately. Yeah. We are seeing NDSU at midfield now, trying to get some aggressive plays coming in. Yeah, NDSU is playing counter-attacking Rocket League right now. That's pretty much all they're playing. They, they can't really get anything going uh, from the back. That's just because CIU is has a majority of the ball, but nothing to worry about if you're CIU. No real shots on goal from NDSU. A good great shot from Gamehawk, Game though. Hawk. Yeah, great shot, 
shot shots by yeah, you Gamehawk. Got it. <laughs> yep. We'll get there. All right, Gamehawk doing well to keep the ball centered in front of goal yeah. along with Jinji and Casey. Uh, they are both working it in front of goal nicely. So eventually we will see one fall in. Yeah, here's Jinji up. He got up early and he's still... Oh, oh man! Jinji with a pre-jump getting the pass from Casey and he just gets one tap well placed top bar far down yeah definitely he's i've been watching their streams a little bit this week just lurking in the chat and jenji has been working on that exact mechanic and it's good to see uh all the hard work come that like that you've been working on come to fruition well right there we saw jenji put the ball in front of goal go for a bump and then casey out of the corner just slides one right in Casey says hi Ben. I don't know if that's someone on the other team, someone in chat, but Casey says hi Ben with his gamer tag. And what a way to say hi Ben with a chip shot to the back yeah. post. Shout out to Ben for sponsoring that goal. Yeah. <laughs> and now we see Gamehawk in front of goal again, cross the goal. Casey gets a touch to Genji. They couldn't make it go in to go towards your point that you were making earlier. You really want to see something like that go in. But right yeah. now, they are keeping the ball choppy in front of goal, getting nice crosses, and getting some shots at goal. Yeah, and there's a the term is like miss close. You If you can't get it to go in the, in the net after a shot, miss close. Leaving your teammate who's coming up in the rotation little to no work at all to put the ball in the back of the net. CIU's done a really good job of that. Well, here's a pass to a shot. Ooh, it's broken up. All right, now Ooh, we see shot from attack. distance. It's going to go off the backboard. Oh. Ooh, Casey could not put it towards goal. And now he's just getting possession of ball on their side of the field. Yeah, put it into your corner where you can control it. If North Dakota State's going to chow there, that's going to open up space behind. So a good a good play by Casey there and a good clearance as well from Gamehawk. Well, now Gamehawk has a chance on offense to make something Ooh, happen. It's off the wall. Casey gets a touch but it goes a little too far. And now Gamehawk with the demo as they transfer back to defense. And it's up in the air for Gamehawk. Good win on the 50. Yeah, the CIU defense right now is lights out. I mean, so far two shutouts uh, pitched right now. And it's looking like another one might be, but a shot on net, good save from Gamehawk. Gamehawk was there, and now Casey's chasing out. Shot on goal. Ooh, Ooh bottom Ooh. left corner. Bounces in. A little low pie from Casey. Good shot. Yeah, hitting off, the, hitting off the post. And as you said, all Casey goals are sponsored by Ben. All right. Another one, 3-0 with a minute and a half left. Just a little under that. And right now it is up to CIU to try to get this ball clear. They rotate back as they had a couple misses. But no miss there as Jinji pushes out. Ooh, that was a good <laughs> little strat from North Dakota State. It just didn't work out. Now we have another push on offense for NDSU. But a miss leads to Jinji and Casey pushing forward with Gamehawk, trying to make waves, make room in front of goal. Good stop by Casey cutting the rotation. Not quite enough though, as Rooney for NDSU does get a goal with under a minute left. Just an all around good team goal there. I mean, everyone's doing their job. Everyone's uh, doing what they're supposed to, staying disciplined. And, um, and you gotta you got give credit to where credit's due, so. Makes it 3-1. Let's see if CIU can bounce back. Yep. 30 seconds left on the clock, and NDSU is trying to push for another goal right now. Um, but Jinji getting a nice clear push forward onto offense with Casey, and the ball's up. The ball's still in front of goal. Gamehawk, a little chip. Oh. Top bar does not go in. Now it's up to Casey and Gamehawk to get back and clear. Casey... Clears it very nicely to Jinji. Oh, for the double. Oh, a little too steep. 
Five seconds left. Getting it clear. Oh, two shots on net. Oh, man. Caught a break there from CIU. But they mathematically had that game in uh, on lockdown. So, making it 2-0 in the series. Dropped a goal, but CIU's playing some good Rocket League so far. Yes, they are. And we just want to thank everybody in chat um, for supporting the stream. And let's fill up that chat with a little bit more support. I don't want to see the same old messages just sitting there. So, come yeah, on. All let's all let's see some more. All these bots in our chat right now. Yeah. Free, let's... free Chapel, we can see chat. Give us some hype. Give us something to cheer about. The CIU Rams are on match point, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so now the third game is coming in, and they're oh, already start, baby. getting goals. Seven seconds from the clock have ticked away, and one point is on the board. Casey to Gamehawk, just so nicely done. Yeah, shorter. I I always knew you were a numbers guy. You're you're so good with words and numbers at the same time. Seven seconds gone, one goal in. Couldn't have said it better myself. Now we saw another shot on goal. Casey trying to work the ball, <laughs> tried to stay in the air, but I think he might have used up a little bit too much boost. Yep. And now they are trying to play some defense. Gigi has a chance at goal if he can get there before they do. He does not, but the ball is still on offense for CIU. Gamehawk puts the ball in front of goal, gets another Ooh, touch, shot on goal, great shot. squeaks it by. Gets his brace too. Way to stay with the play. I mean, right there, North Dakota State kind of had a bad rotation. Someone's got to come and chow that and not make it so easy for what I like to call our X Factor and Gamehawk, Zach Snook. But um, that's probably one of the easier goals he's going to score. But way to, way to stay with the play and way to make sure it goes in the back of the net. Grayson, you're a fan of the NFL, right? Oh, yeah, big time. So, here, and you're here we familiar, go, Steve. Yeah, are you familiar with the trend of uh, let Russ cook? I am familiar right. with the trend. Well, I think uh, we need to start one right now. It's let Snook cook or Snook, I, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, everyone who knows Zach Snook, a.k.a. Gamehawk, I think that's our new our new T-shirt pitch right there. We got to get some shirts that say let Snook cook on it. All right. And so now we're on defense. Hopefully they'll stay cooking as Gingy moves forward. And Gamehawk and Casey are behind, ready to pick up the slack if he misses. But fortunately, they're doing well to just stay in front of the ball and make sure there are no clear shots from NDSU. Yeah, I mean, it's 2-0 it's right now. Three minutes roughly to go. I think it's going to take at least one more goal just to to get it comfortable if you're CIU. But right now they are playing some good Rocket League. Even though we, there was a team pinch, it might lead to a goal though. It might lead to a goal. Oh, Casey misses. <laughs> well, right now we are seeing some good rotations going into Gingy. He has the ball up. He's trying to get another touch on it, but he couldn't. I think he might have run out of gas there. A little bit of boost lacking. But you have Gamehawk on defense, getting the transition. Oh, ball stolen away. But they are still staying on defense to try to prevent this goal from happening. Yeah. Casey, there you go, big clear from him. Yeah, discipline clear as well. He st stayed home and made sure that he did his job, and he did. I think Gamehawk's biggest two fans are in chat right now. Oh, yeah. Master and G Hawk Mama. Yeah, what's up, G Hawk Mama? Your your son, I'm guessing, is balling out right now. Got two goals in this game. Couldn't be more proud of Zach as he's balling out right now. All right, pass across the middle. Gingy, another pass to the middle. And he's back on D, trying to get a third. He's up. Casey following off the top board. Demo in front of goal. Casey does get demoed, but he's back now on defense with Gamehawk trying to cut. 
at the midfield. Yeah. One player who's been a little quiet this game is Jinji. Not anymore. <laughs> Gamehawk brings the ball up the backboard and crosses it in front of goal for Jinji to dunk it in emphatically. I'm not going to say I saw that coming from a mile away, but that's a good goal, a good team goal for CIU Rams. It started with Casey playing some disciplined defense. Gamehawk with a great pass and Jinji with an easy finish, which is pain due because his teammates did all the hard work for him. All right, so now we have Gamehawk going up on D. Great job to break that up to prevent NDSU from pushing the ball forward. And they are working to get this ball across midfield right now. So a minute left, 3-0. Things are looking good when you're on match point. How are you gonna close the game out? That's, that's the next little challenge for CIU is are you gonna play some good defense, play some good offense? Ideally, it would be both. Oh, great shot by Casey. Oh. He cannot be denied. They tried, but he continued forward, pressed on, and got another one in. I mean, so we've talked about it a few games in the past where you put the ball in a situation where only you can control it. Casey did just that. Even though the ball was cleared, almost cleared, it went right back to him. His reaction time was, was perfect. And it's 4-0, and the Rams are cruising Ooh. to another. Oh, my God. Gingy. Somebody clip it. Flick. Somebody clip it right now. A, a nominee for goal of the season. Up and over two guys. That's, wow. Hats Gingy off. Gingy saw the Gingy. score, and he's like, I can afford to make this look nice. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Just putting a little style on that one by Genji. Yeah. And it looks like he wants another little ground pinch. Couldn't finish it. Gamehawk's there, though. Also, Grayson, I just want to point out that we do have official word from Jihawk Mama that it's Snook rhymes with Cook. So the Snook. hashtag stands. Snook rhymes with Cook. Yep. So let's Love Snook it. Cook. Let Snook Cook. T shirts by next week, Coach Chris. Yep. And then we also have uh, Casey is in the air or something like Casey's that. Casey's in the air again. Yep. Season. Yep. And then Gingy's t-shirt is Jobs Not Done. Oh, love it. Yep. So, hey, everyone gets a t-shirt. We've kind of gone off topic. Your CIU Rams are definitely taking this game. Another Score. shot by Gingy. Just <laughs> this is his hat trick. There. He got his hat trick. A wow, zero second goal. Wow, see it. Yeah. No time left on the clock, and Genji's like, hey, you know what? I heard Glitch Grayson talking about me, so yep. just going to let him know I'm still here. Yep. And back to what I was saying about how they're going to close the game out. Man, scoring, what was it? Two, three, two goals in less than 50 seconds. is That's a great way to close the game out. They played some good defense, all around good Rocket League. And hey, man, if you're part of the Ram fam, you are ecstatic right now because... They're adding to their win streak. They're playing good Rocket League. They're playing together, and they're disciplined. So we'll have Casey coming up in about 60 seconds to do an interview. Can't wait to hear from him. And, I mean, hey, man, I'm if I'm part of the Ram fam, I'm loving where the season is headed. Absolutely. That was a clean three sweep, 3-0 three -oh for the series. And it's just good to see the Rams really just lighten up because yeah. that's sort of how we were talking before, you know, with the uh, how you can tell when their demeanor changes a little bit. Yeah. And I think we saw that near the end, especially on game three. So I love sure. to see that. I love to see them uh, get some nice clips. In. Yeah, for sure. Casey's in the lobby. Casey, Yo, great game, man. Thanks, great, bro. great game. First question for you. What was the game plan headed into tonight? Um, just kind of the same as usual. Um, just take it how it, like, just see how these guys were in the first game. The first game is always the most important. And we'll make the adjustment there. Um, we knew coming in they were 0-7 and that they weren't the greatest. But uh, that being said, we still took it serious. That happened to us the first game of the season. 
we didn't take it serious and we lost. So yeah. Love it. So Casey, with you and that last game, uh, we saw a nice night uh, with a follow up. In situations like that, what are the comms like? Do you just go silent and you finish it? Oh no, I, you, I told them I was like, I'm gonna try to score this. <laughs> like I knew I should have passed it, but I was like, I have a chance and I have an opening and I'm gonna take it. Uh, Casey, final question for me. What's something from this game that you're going to be taking into your matchup next week? Um, the vibes are really high this week, and so I think going into next week, we're going to take that with us. We had really good energy, and that's going to let us roll into the next week. Awesome, bro. Love it. Appreciate it a lot. Great job tonight, guys. Uh, this is definitely one to hold on to and watch some of those clips back. Thank you. Good game, Casey. See you later, Thanks. man. Yep. So we just want to thank everybody out there for watching and supporting. Uh, we saw some great Rocket League play tonight. And guess what? Next week, there's probably going to be some great rock Rocket League as well. And just a reminder that there are other teams that are doing some great things as well. So make sure you put on notifications on Twitch so you can watch all of them when they live stream and support them as well. Yeah, I remember. Hey, we're going to say a, a good charge on ramp bam. And let Snook cook. Yeah, let's go. Charge on. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you again next week.